Now, uh, another 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 trending topic. Asian businesses profiling black customers. I don't know if y'all know about this story. If you didn't, it's that was on Minister Society. Hurry up and buy, right? Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. It's another one of those. So there's an Asian store owner in Colombia. I mean, in uh, found it out, nigga. Not actual Colombia. South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, exactly. okay. Yeah, not actual Colombia. <laughs> South Carolina. Name Rick Tao. Falsely accused a 14 year old child, Cyrus Carmack Belton, of shoplifting. So he basically accused the kid of shoplifting. The kid really didn't shoplift. Him and his son chased the boy down. So the boy already out the store up the block. Whatever happened, uh, uh, I don't know what happened. I just know the end result. They shot the boy. In, uh, he Whoa. shot the boy in the back. Out the Killed store? Out, out the store. Oh, yeah, gone. Already man? gone. He already up the this. block, whatever. Chase him down. Boom. Shoot him in the back. Kid dead. Now, the reports is saying, claiming they found a gun on the scene next to the body. Right? So now they're trying to twist it like, oh, well, he was armed and whatever the case. But when it happened... Store owner didn't see no gun or none of that. Store owner thought, hey, you stealing out my store. Chase him down, shoot him in the back. So in now, the back? Yeah, shot him oh, in the yeah, back, right. Yeah. So now, I don't see any of the uh, the same type of outrage. outrage in the media as when that one Asian got beat up, and then they got the, the anti-stop Asian, Asian hate. Asian hate. Then they got all the laws passed and all this. I don't see any of that now. So my question to y'all is, how do y'all feel about that? Also, this is eerily similar to the 1991 murder. What Tupac was talking about. Uh, Natasha. 50-year-old yeah. Natasha. Yep. Natasha, South bro. South Central. Come she on, went to bro. the store. Korean store owner. Yep. Soon Ju Do, whatever the fuck her name is. The girl go in there to get orange juice. She it put it in her studio. backpack, right. but got the cash in her hand to go pay. The lady see it in her backpack, thinks she's stealing, even though the money's right here in her hand. They get in the scuffle. The, the bitch grab a 38, boom, hit her in the head, mm -hmm. kill her. You feel me? I know we all know about that. It's a famous on, case out here. So that was in fucking 91, 2023. Same shit still going on by the same community. And we been the fucking target still. So how do y'all feel about that? This is the same fucking song we keep singing. Over and singing. over, yeah. And I'm really like, for me, I'm just, I'll just be tired of hearing it because not saying as as a whole, as a group, as blacks, we ain't doing shit about it. Right. I mean, that's all we doing is talking. That's you know all we're doing. About everything. Black kids aren't seen as juveniles. But it's the same thing, that's though. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Like we deal with it. Like nine times out of ten, if I walk in any store, I'm being followed. I'm being a, a, a certain way. Um, I can go in there with, oh, a, with the, a bag full of yeah. money, and they gonna they gonna already think that I'm stealing something, as we already been profiled under everything. So. It's fucked up what, what happened in that situation, but I feel like the people in that city got to stand up. Yep. At some point, we got to stand up, and um, we're going to stay at the bottom of the totem pole and keep getting treated how we treated until we start demanding respect from all these races, from everybody. They're going to respect us when, when they see us or whatever the case is, but when it comes to certain situations, they don't give a fuck about us. They, If something happens to black people, no black people are standing up. You not you not finna nothing's finna happen to a fucking Asian, and America's finna go be buying shit from Asia. Asians finna be like, oh, you just killed one of our people out there. We're not fucking with y'all, and that's gonna happen with Indians. That's gonna happen with Russia. You're not finna do nothing to a Russian in Jews. America, and they gonna go back out there and Russians finna fuck with y'all. So blacks gotta stand behind blacks at the end of the day, and it's like mm. I, don't, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know I don't know the answers. How you feel about it, Brandon? I mean, we looking. At, I think we looking at the wrong issue, right? Um, I I talked about this on my on my channel. Um, more so than we need to go to Asians and stand up to them. At the end of the day, we need to stand up to our own damn children, because our children is out here acting like animals, which are putting them in a position where people are automatically profiling them. When they walk in the store. So the ones that... When, not the country. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let them get the shit off. Then cut it. Then I promise it. to God, look on YouTube right now. You will never see a video of an Asian kid at a black person store disrespecting them, fighting with them, wrestling with them, stealing up out their store. You're not going to see a white kid at a black store fighting with them, stealing out of their store. You're not going to see a Mexican at a black-owned store doing that. It's only our kids doing that. And if you look up the situation... 
This guy, Rick Child, I'm not saying he's innocent. I'm not saying he's right. What he did, he's wrong. He's totally wrong. But this guy's getting in physical fights with these black kids. They're fighting with him physically. The guy wears a gun on his hip, a Glock, every day when he's at work. Right here. Open carry state. Every day when he goes to work. Even in the video where he's like scuffling with these black kids, they fighting him, tearing his fucking store up. Crazy stuff. He has his Glock on his back. He thought the kid stole. The kid ran. They chased him. Really, the kid, the, the guy who got killed, Benton, Benton, he's really the victim of the animalistic behavior of all the kids who have done things to Rick Child before. And Rick yeah. Child snapped. People get tired of dealing That's with That's no excuse. Hold on. Right. I, let I me don't just say my opinion. Just let me say my opinion. Let me ask you a question. How long do people have to deal with black people who prey on the people who are foolish enough to come and try to serve their community. Ain't no black liquor stores or markets in that community. Because why? We know better than to try to do business with our people because we act like animals. And those kids were acting like animals with this guy. And finally, somebody suffered the consequences of that. I know he's guilty, but he's most likely going to walk because... Because the because it's only three people, him, his son, and the kid is dead. So he could and he said he saw a gun and then he shot, right? And then they found the gun. So no one knows if the kid pulled the gun or what. Not saying the kid no, did, no. but it's gonna be basically their story against nobody's because the kid is dead. All I'm saying is this: no matter how you look at it, we keep taking losses. One black man is dead. Rick Child's son is gonna go on to have a family and all that, and they're gonna live and thrive and open a store somewhere else. We could say whatever we want. We're taking losses, and a lot of it is because of our culture. Why are our kids the only ones going in stores behaving like that? Why are we the only ones? But like I just said, Man. like I just <laughs> sat here and just said, so if I go in every store and feel like they, they fucking with me, they following me, they automatically assuming that I'm stealing. You can't suppress so, your blackness. Right. So, so, no, so, so if I'm feeling this in every store, then I finally snap. Then then, yeah. then, 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 who's you wrong? Real. Yeah, right. exactly. I'm wrong. Every because time I go in here, y'all fucking exactly, with me. Yeah, bro. Every time I go in this store, y'all think I'm stealing anyway. I got a pocket full of money and I want to buy some. Uh, and then you when, finally then stop because you keep being. Yeah. Because I'm, because I keep getting fucked with. Right. So okay. look, look, I will say no. this though. I will say this. Number one, once you shoot somebody in the back, the self defense shit is over. Over. Yeah. Right. It's over, right? So, they, so it's a wrap for that. So I ain't no walking on that. Right. Number two, he was he left the store, so you follow him out the him. store. Right. So that's also a rap because even if he did pull a weapon, he could have felt threatened from you following him. So that's kind of a slippery slope anyway. Why is so he fucked anyway. around with a gun? He didn't have one. He okay, didn't. look, look, look. I'm not going. I'm not going to go with the ifs and the whys because we all we all black. I mean, shit. I don't know about you, but we didn't carry guns. But at that the ages speaks and all to type the of shit. that speaks to the climate of that neighborhood. Four children walking around no, I, look, look, I agree. Neighborhoods is fucked up to where kids feel like they got to carry guns. We're that's disenfranchised. A that's some self hate issue. rhetoric. I'm that's, sorry. I'm, I'm that's trying a to whole other issue. I go feel ahead. like my guy. Like, okay, it's a child. You talking about he acting like an animal? What about all the black kids that don't act like animals? Hold that thought. That's fucking crazy. He's going away. I feel like that's just like my mind is blown you know, by your views, like you're like our kids. I do agree with you. These kids is fucking animals. But what about when a white kid do it? Shout no, out what about when a white kid do it? Kid do Hold it? on, I'm going to say this. No, for real. It's, no, listen, it's more acceptable in society. I agree with you. But I fucking, let me tell you something. I don't think that's fair that black kids have to act a certain way to be accepted. Be your fucking self. Just it's don't a, go in the store and steal. Okay, that's it. But, but, but does the crime, the okay, produced, but does that, they said he did not steal. Even if he stole, he didn't, stole, steal. What, he wait, didn't wait, wait. fuck it. Let's say he stole. I don't give a fuck. I know, did he deserve to die or bag of shit? Listen, I know more about the story than any of you guys. The guy, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, you listen. It doesn't matter. He listen, left the store, called the listen, police. Listen, I don't care. That the little guy boy did not produced, deserve to die. The guy no. produced 50 pictures of these kids from this school. Was it that kid? Wait so a minute. Wait to a die. minute. The guy, y'all, if y'all listen to what I'm saying, no, the I'm guy sorry. produced 50 pictures of those kids from that neighborhood stealing out of his store. Okay, so look, that's this cool. This kid was but the let, victim. Look, let's focus. Of that. Let's focus on this kid uh -huh. because we can't blame. We can blame them other kids all we want. We're talking about this. Actual incident. One, he didn't steal. Two, he wasn't them kids. And three, he was running away. Three, I can't let you keep saying only black kids because that's not true. Hispanic kids. They're just all kids. kids tear shit up. Yep. All, of all them kids do. steal. Yes. All kids go fuck with store owners. I live in a white, predominantly white neighborhood, and all them kids do that shit. The only difference is our kids get nailed to the cross for the same yes. shit that 
they shit get swept under the rug. Like all these kids being kids. You us is we get treated like adults. You telling so. me where you live, yes. kids are having knockdown drag out fights with a damn store owner. Yes, where I, I live. I, yes. I wouldn't say where I live. The white kids and the owner. Mexican kids. Yes. Go watch yes. the video. I would not say this man having, shit like that. Yeah, for sure. This man having full fledged fight with some females. Oh my mama, cut! Oh mama, they fighting with him. Why? Because they want to go behind the counter and mess with some male and. Oh, that's his. The guy just listen. I, the guy uh, is wrong. The guy is wrong. But why? What is it with our culture to where our kids feel like it's okay to do that type of stuff? Okay, I'm gonna say this in in defense in defense of our culture. Our kids get profiled. Yes. And let's not look. Let's just stop the sugarcoating shit. The older Asian communities they uh, they align with whiteness. Yes. They align with white supremacy to the point where they damn near think they white and we get treated like that. I know me personally, I got treated like that. Whenever I, I'm grown, when I go in their stores, they looking at me like- I know that for a fact. Even for a fact. Even I was one of them kids. I was one of them kids. Even when, we were, kids. Even when we were kids, even when we were kids, we were not having no knockdown, drag out fight. With I no was one of them kids. In no store. Look, you focusing on the fight, bro, but you still, you, you ignoring the way that they view us, period. They're stereotyping right? us. Exactly, Our culture exactly. is so, going listen. downhill since when we was little. No, it's I, gone listen, down. I, I, blaming listen, the culture, I, I agree. Our culture got a lot of shit to work on, right? I agree wholeheartedly. A lot of the stereotypes come from our own actions. I take responsibility for that. We do be fucking shit up, but we still talking about this incident. Yes. Like, this incident, he didn't steal. He was out of the store. And his life was good. And even if he did steal, that's not a death sentence for a kid. Exactly. I don't give a fuck. What he took out of that store wasn't worth his none, life. Of that. none of that. Period. And I don't me, give a fuck about none of that. Because it wouldn't get on me. So listen, we're talking about he's been vic the, the store owner's been victimized multiple times, correct? We all can agree with that, right? Yeah. Right. So why as a store owner did he take responsibility to, let's get doors that lock where, you know what I'm saying? Higher security. Higher security guard. Take preventive it's other, measures. It's other, there we go. We the, can the issue is black kids, white kids, Asian kids, we not held to the same standard. We're not. Our black children, black boys, black girls are seen as fucking adults. Straight like that. That's a fact. Straight, Straight like that. that. There, there is no juvenile. There's a, a white kid cannot, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. Not, a white kid can knock some shit down. Oh, he's just being a kid. Kids will be kids. He's a black tantrum. kid does it. He's angry. He's get. He's a thug. He's, He's a, a thug. That's they, what it is. It's a right. trigger I don't give a fuck if he did steal. He that young man thug. did not deserve. Okay, so what? What kid 14 that's, carry gun around that ain't a lot of kids. That's, 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 that's okay, but what I'm saying is, so listen, I, that's what I'm saying. You I'm live sorry, by the gun, sorry. you die by the they gun. They said it ain't fine. It don't even matter how more you black You're saying things that don't even make sense. That ain't true. Look, they found a gun by the body on the scene. They never found it on him. There's no footage that he had a gun on him. You acting like it's not a possibility. They didn't put the gun there. The sheriff's um, department said it's his gun, so I'm going up. Well, we know the police got a truth. So you don't believe the police. <laughs> right. Man, why did the, the kid police have say a, gun? a lot of shit? How, okay. How, how, how many times you've seen the police caught on tape planting shit? So I'm, Come I'm on. not never finna go by what the police said. I'm gonna say well, this. Well, let though. me tell you this. No, hold, hold on, Brandon, because I didn't get a yeah, chance. Sorry, sorry about that. Look, world shit. You're saying a 14 year old having a gun. We can go to Middle America or we can go somewhere in Alaska. They are trained to have a gun because of threat oh. of animals. So it doesn't even matter if a 14 year have a gun because certain certain races, I mean certain races can have a gun and they're treated as hunters and oh that they're they're uh mm -hmm. fish yes. hunting or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. But when it's a black kid, now like like Jennifer just or Pearl just said, say it. The, it's it's exactly we, we're so trained to say if a black man has a gun, the the yeah. Black Panthers had mm. guns, but thug. they were unarmed. But guess what? They were thugs. They Ghetto were there. gangsters. Oh, for real. that's what I'm saying. Don't we, perpetuate your ideas. We're, 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 we're These are for, this is a 14 year old kid. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Just like you said, man. middle American Michigan, 14, these kids is born with fucking guns in their head. There's nowhere in the, in the country Bullshit. where it is permissible for a 14 year old kid. To Texas, carry a pistol. Michigan. Yelling Tennessee. is not going to make the point even more. You have no point. You have no point. At what point? At what point do we hold the adult responsible and not the kids? You don't because, have listen, it, kids. Yes. we all we all know black, at fourteen black. your brain isn't fully developed. Yes. So even if they is acting wild or whatever the case, I'm not making excuses. You still an adult. Number one, you're still an adult. So your brain is developed. So okay, he's stealing from my store. He left the store. Where where is the accountability on the store owner? You could have easily just called the police. Say, hey man, this kid is still not my store. Whatever the it's case. not. It's and, always and, a black. Hold on. Ball. And if you saw him have a gun, why didn't you retreat? If 
If this because you shot him in the back, so that means his back was turned to you. Yo, so there's no way no for him to pull a gun. His, no his back turned. turned to you. If if this was a one-off situation, I would say, yo, let's go after the store owner, which he's gonna. But be you're under. conflating. Hold Stop on. Conflating blaming other this situations. person. Stop he blaming asked this me a question. I'm just trying to answer. No, because you keep saying what, what everybody I'm, else what did. What I'm saying. Well, I have the right to my opinion. So no, you can't keep okay. saying that. Here's here's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If it was a one-off thing, I'd say, okay, let's go after Chow, right? right but this is constantly happening to black people. And so what I'm saying is, where's the situational awareness? Pearl could sit up here and tell me how black kids is looked at, but nobody could tell me why the parents aren't acting accordingly with what we know about the way our kids are. You said you looked at the story, you right? Know, yes. Yes. I'm reading it right now. He previously yes. shot at two other kids. And got off with self-defense. Right. But why is he shooting that kid? So why are you kids? shooting that kid? Because they're black. Because they're black. Why are you shooting that kid? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Listen to what I'm telling you. If the guy is getting off with self-defense after shooting at two black kids, at that point as a black person, I have to say, damn, what are my kids doing to where this Asian guy can shoot a gun at them and get off with self-defense? That's the issue. You can't change nobody else. You can only change you and yours, what they do. We have no situational awareness. These guys are going to kill black people to the end of forever until black people understand that, look, you know you already got one strike against you. It's like when you go to jail. Of course. And the, and right. the, look, when that sheriff say, nigga, put your, your shoulder against that wall and walk down that line, there's a lot of reasons why you like, dude, why should I have to do that? But you know there's only two options. Either you put your shoulder against that wall or he gonna whoop your motherfucking ass. In that moment, you have no. situational so awareness. Saying, Wait a minute. In that moment, no, you have man. situational awareness and you adjust to the rules of that situation. So when that person is shooting at black kids, you already know he pulled a gun out. You already know he willing to shoot. Don't play with him. Man, Don't that, even go to the Hold on, hold on, hold on. For one, your whole analogy is okay. bullshit. Yes. Because yes. if I'm going in this store, never thinking I'm going to steal, I'm not thinking a nigga's finna shoot me in my fucking back because he in thinks I'm finna steal. In my back. If I know I'm not going in this store to steal Come nothing, on, why the fuck do I gotta be thinking be about worrying about a, a man coming to kill me? Come right. on, fam. I, I'm right. not going in here to do what these other kids did. I'm not doing none of that shit. Okay, so. if you're not stealing, why are you running then? Because What's he's trying to kill me. I didn't steal that. I didn't steal that. Okay, but well, listen, it's still a grown wow. man. Look, I'm not running if I didn't do that. Why would I run if I didn't do that? If a nigga pull a gun out on you right now, you're getting on. If a store owner and I don't give a fuck who it is. You're right. And besides, you're right. We can be outside of the club. We hear gunshot. What are we all doing? Run down. He's not shooting at me. I'm not going to run. Hold on. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. This nigga trip. I'm gone. Yo, yo, yo. Let me ask you this. We're going to end it on this. Your kid goes into the store yeah. where the store owner had been being harassed. Yeah. Your kid gets shot. Are you going to chalk it up and say, you know what, officer? Don't charge him. I, I don't want to press no charges, no nothing. Because he been getting his ass beat by somebody else's kids. Mm -hmm. And my kid just a victim of those kids' actions. Yeah. No. First of all. Are you going to. I'm answering the question. question. First of all. This is why I'm telling you it's on us. Because if my no, kid, answer my direct I'm question. I'm answering man. your question because your question proves my point. Answer my direct question. I'm sorry, you going to talk? Let, let me answer you. Let me. No, answer I don't want to hear no mumbo jumbo. I'm not know. giving you no mumbo jumbo. Okay, start with a yes or no. Let Are you going to chalk up your kid getting shot? No. I'll just start with. I'll start as a yes or no. No. I won't. Exactly. Okay. But this is, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't next listen. Time. Wait, wait, wait. Let's get to the next time. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Don't want to debate him. No, 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 Nobody's taking that loss. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. It's crazy. If you know that around the corner, there's a store where an Asian dude has shot at two other black kids. Solomon, I'll ask you too, because I can see your face. Are you going to let your kid go in that store? I'm going to say, don't ever go to that damn yeah, you store. We go to stores where niggas die every day. Bruh, that's that's we still go to the, the store. I'm talking about your kids. It you don't matter. Like, Do not take your ass in that store. If I okay. live in the environment, we all have kids. Yes or no? Right? Like, okay, I will crazy. say this. I no, 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 Jumbo. Yes or no? No, no, look, I can tell my kid anything, but once I walk out the door, I'm going to do Exactly. Boom, exactly. Let's not fucking listen. Because I'm going to tell you this. If anybody fuck with your kid, put it like this, my nigga. It ain't got to be my It could be your kid, his kid. It don't even matter. Nigga, if they shoot your kid in the back, my nigga, all tops, nigga, what nigga, we, we doing? Ride, what nigga, we doing, bro? Listen, yeah. guess what, nigga? I gotta have empathy. Well, ain't you nobody know. riding no Rick Choi. That nigga's nigga right there. Listen, in jail. I will say this. I'm gonna say this. Right or wrong, I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit you talking about him having uh, mm -hmm. uh, wrestling, whatever. Okay, if it was that mm -hmm. bad, you could have. 
Got up out that community and moved, moved your store into your community where you ain't got to fight your kids. Right. So it's that's number one. Number two, black people got to stop being so apologetic and trying to figure out Fact. this. Boom. Because if an Asian kid would have went into a black store, did the exact same thing, black man would have been up just Black dry. man shoot him in his back, yes. black man getting crucified. But do you yes. see yes. Asian kids doing that? But, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 but no, you no, saying no, that, you friends. saying that though, but if they come in a black store, black people, we ain't tripping on that shit. You have no. no we not, we not, we not, we not, if, a, if they come in a black store, we're not going to be tripping on no white boy. We're not going to be tripping on no, come to the store, buy what you want, get a pot of people. Let me say this, because Asian people tell their kids, stay away from those black people. Just like those black parents should have told those kids, Hey, that dude is dangerous. Stay away from there. I don't want how you in there. How can we be afraid? How can we be afraid of our own community? And how is blaming a parent if for If a guy is shooting action, guns at crazy. kids, and crazy. there's kids with guns going to that store, my daughter's not going to that store. Then I avoid the whole situation. It's Man. called situational awareness. You keep saying that, like you just said. You can tell your daughter not to go to this damn store, but I'm gonna go anyway. Right. I'm gonna cruise by that bitch. Okay, listen. If, if you, you want to be cruising every shit. day, man. Listen, not okay, I'm ended on this. So he man. deserved to die because he went to the if, store, listen, guys. I, that's, that's what you're that's, taking. That's what you're hey, hold on, hold on, radio. You I'm taking crazy. all accountability away from the store owner and putting it on Fact. a 14-year-old. The adult. That's not what I'm doing. Nah, that's that, why he Not even Ruckus. a 14-year-old. You're putting <laughs> the actions of others on the back of a 14-year-old that just walked into the store. No, saying, they well, put since... the actions of th their actions on him. Because now, because of what they're doing, he's getting profiled. Right. But you agree with it going, well, you know what the store owner did? No, he's I here said he was wrong. With some other kids. And We're you know what he finally said? You guys just... ignored the part where I said he was wrong. What I'm saying is, ignore the part. how do we keep it from happening? Situation. I'll tell you how to keep it from happening. Stop letting these motherfuckers open up shop in our neighborhoods and open up shop ourselves. Well, That's we don't want to do that, happening. clearly. That's how we can stop <laughs> having number one.